Hello everyone, Alan Stafford here. And have you ever felt like you're not fulfilling your potential? I mean, do you ever wonder what amazing things you could achieve if you just unlock the hidden power within you? Well, I'm gonna tell you, you're not alone. As Carl Jung once said, the privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. And today we're diving deep into that journey of self-discovery and growth. I wanna welcome you to today's video, Unlocking Your Potential. Well, unlocking your potential strategies for personal growth. And over the next several minutes, we'll explore practical strategies to help you tap into your potential and embark on a journey of personal growth. We'll cover everything from self-assessment and goal setting to continuous learning and resilience building. And by the end of this video, you'll have a toolkit of strategies to help you become the best version of yourself. But why is unlocking your potential so important? Simply put, realizing your potential leads to a more fulfilling and meaningful life, if that's what you want. It's about recognizing your unique abilities, setting ambitious goals, and constantly pushing yourself to grow and improve. When you unlock your potential, you're not just improving your life, you're also positively impacting the world around you. So with that said, let's get started. Now that we've set the stage, let's take a closer look at what we mean by potential. In the context of personal growth, potential refers to the latent qualities or abilities that may be developed and lead to future success or usefulness. It's like a seed that can grow into a strong, flourishing tree given the conditions, given the right conditions and right care. Recognizing and utilizing your potential could lead to significant life changes. For instance, imagine someone who always had a knack for public speaking, but never pursued it further. By recognizing and honing this talent, they could become a motivational speaker, inspiring thousands and changing lives. You know, I want to share a brief story to illustrate this concept with you. A good friend of mine, let's, we'll call him John, has always had a passion for photography, but has never considered it a career. He worked a regular nine to five job, feeling unfulfilled and basically stuck. One day he decided to take a leap of faith. He started Simple, a photography blog, sharing his work and passion with the world or his readers. Fast forward a few years later, John is now a successful freelance photographer traveling the globe and living his dream. Recognizing and acting on his potential transformed his life completely. Now, John's story is a perfect example of how understanding and harnessing your potential can lead to extraordinary challenges. It's about identifying those hidden talents and passions and then taking actionable steps to develop them. So take a moment to reflect on your own life. What are those hidden talents or passions that you haven't fully explored yet? Remember, your potential is like a seed with the right care and nurturing. It can grow into something truly remarkable. In the next section, we'll dive into how you can start this journey of self-discovery with self-assessment and awareness. All right, now that we understand the meaning of potential and personal development and how it can transform our lives, let's talk about the first strategy to unlock your potential, and that's self-assessment uh, self and awareness. See, self-awareness is the foundation of personal growth. Without it, it's like trying to navigate without a map. You need to know where you are, uh, where you are before you can figure out where you want to go. And one of the most effective ways to gain self-awareness is through self-assessment. Now, here are a few tools and methods that can help you with the process. Number one, journaling. Writing down your thoughts and experiences can provide deep insights into your strengths, weaknesses, and your behavior patterns. I would try journaling regularly and reflecting on your, enti uh, on your entries to identify areas for improvement. I recommend journaling at least every few days. If time permits, journal daily for better self-awareness insights. Number two, personality tests. Tests like the Meyer-Briggs Type Indicator or the Big Five Personality Traits can offer valuable information about your inherent tendencies and preferences. Now, these insights can guide you in making more informed decisions. And I'll leave a few links to resources in the description below if you want to learn more about your personality. And three, feedback from others. Sometimes we need an outside perspective to see ourselves. Ask for honest feedback from friends, family, or colleagues. Their observations can highlight aspects of yourself you might not be aware of. Now, each of these tools can provide a different piece of the puzzle. You'll get a comprehensive picture of 
who you are when you put them all together. But remember, self-assessment is not a one-time activity. It's an ongoing process that requires regular reflection and adjustment. Here are a few tips to help you reflect on your strengths, weaknesses, and areas for improvement. One, identify patterns. Look for reoccurring themes in your journal entries or feedback. These patterns can re reveal your natural strengths and areas that need development. Number two, set aside time for reflection. Dedicate a few minutes each day or week to reflect on your experiences and what you've learned about yourself. This practice can help you stay mindful and focused on your growth. Three, be honest with yourself. Self-assessment requires honesty. Acknowledging uh, our weaknesses is not always easy, but it's crucial for growth. So embrace your imperfections and view them as opportunities for improvement. Self-awareness is the key to unlocking your potential. And by understanding who you are, you can make better choices, set realistic goals, and ultimately achieve greater success. So take the time to assess yourself honestly and regularly. Now, in the next section, we'll discuss the power of setting clear, actionable goals, goals to guide your personal growth journey. Now that we've covered the importance of self-assessment and awareness, let's move on to our second strategy for unlocking your potential, and that is setting clear goals. Goal setting is a crucial part of personal growth, and I can't stress that enough. It gives you direction, motivation, and a clear roadmap to follow. You know, without goals, it's easy to feel lost or stagnant, but with them, you can measure your progress and stay focused on your journey. When it comes to setting goals, one of the most effective methods is to use the SMART criteria. SMART goals are specific, and that is clearly define what you want to achieve, avoid vague goals like get better or be happier. They're measurable, ensure you can track your progress and know when, you're, uh, achieved, when, when you've achieved your goal. They're achievable, you want to set challenging but realistic goals considering your current abilities and your resources. They're relevant. Choose meaningful goals aligned with your broader life objectives. And they're time-bound. Set a deadline to create a sense of urgency and keep yourself accountable. Now, let's break this down with a couple of examples. For a short-term goal, imagine you want to improve your fitness. A smart goal could be, I will run three times a week for 30 minutes each session and increase my distance by 10% every two weeks for the next three months. This goal is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Now for a long-term goal, suppose you are aiming for career advancement. A smart goal might be something like, I will complete an online certification course in digital marketing within the next six months to qualify for a promotion. Again, this goal meets all the smart criteria. So setting smart goals helps you stay focused and motivated. It turns your aspirations into actionable steps and clarifies the path to achieving them. And remember, goals can evolve as you grow regularly review and adjust them as needed to ensure that they continue to reflect your aspirations and circumstances. So whether it's a short-term objective like improving your fitness or a long-term ambition like advancing your career, setting clear SMART goals is a powerful strategy for personal growth. It gives you a clear direction, helps you stay motivated, and provides a way to measure your progress. Now coming up next, we'll discuss the importance of continuous learning and skill development in unlocking your potential. Now that we've discussed the importance of setting clear goals, let's explore our third strategy for unlocking your potential, and that is continuous learning and skill development. You see, lifelong learning is essential for personal growth. It keeps your mind sharp, helps you adapt to new challenges, and opens new opportunities. And in today's fast-paced world, learning and growing continuously is more valuable than ever. Now, there are many ways to continue learning and developing new skills, but here are a few effective methods. One is online courses. Platforms like Coursera, Udemy, and LinkedIn Learning offer a wide range of courses on almost any topic. These courses allow you to learn at your own pace and fit your schedule. Then there's workshops and seminars. Attend workshops and seminars in your field of interest. These events provide hands-on learning experiences and opportunities to network with like-minded individuals. And then there's reading books. Never underestimate the power of a good book. Reading is, reading is one of the most accessible ways to gain new knowledge and insight. Make it a habit to read regularly, whether nonfiction, fiction, or industry-specific material. And to get the most 
out of your learning journey, here are a few tips to help you incorporate continuous learning into your daily routine. Number one, set aside some time daily. Dedicate at least 15 to 30 minutes daily to learning something new. This could be reading a book, watching a tutorial, or even working on a new skill. Then there's create a learning plan. Identify the skills you want to develop and create a plan to achieve them. Break down your learning into manageable steps and set deadlines to keep yourself actionable. And three, stay curious. Cultivate a mindset of curiosity. Ask questions, seek out new experiences, and never stop exploring. The more curious you are, the more you'll learn. And four, apply what you learn. Practice and application are crucial to solidifying new knowledge. Find ways to apply what you've learned in real-life situations, whether through projects, discussions, or teaching others. You see, continuous learning and skill development are crucial for personal growth. They keep you adaptable, innovative, and ready for new challenges. Whether you're learning a new language, developing a professional skill, or exploring a hobby, the learning journey is endless and incredibly rewarding. So, Commit to lifelong learning and make it a part of your daily routine. The skills and knowledge you gain will help you achieve your goals and enrich your life in countless ways. Up next, we'll discuss the importance of building resilience and overcoming obstacles on your path to your personal growth. Now that we've covered quite a bit here so far, let's dive into a crucial aspect of our personal growth journey, and that is building resilience and overcoming obstacles. You see, life is full of challenges, and how we respond to them can significantly impact our journey towards unlocking our potential. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks, adapt to difficult situations, and keep moving forward. Resilience is essential because it helps us maintain a positive outlook, stay motivated, and continue pursuing our goals despite our obstacles. And it's not about avoiding difficulties, but learning to thrive in the face of them. So how can we build resilience? Well, here are a few techniques that can help you. Number one, mindfulness. Practicing mindfulness can help you stay present and focused, reducing stress and increasing your ability to handle challenging situations. Simple techniques like deep breathing, meditation, or mindful walking can make a big difference. Then there's positive thinking. Cultivate a positive mindset by focusing on your strengths and achievements rather than dwelling on failures. Positive affirmations and gratitude practices can help shift your perspective and build a more resilient attitude. And then there's coping strategies. Develop healthy coping strategies to manage stress and emotions. And this could be this could include physical activities like exercise, creative outlets like writing or painting, or seeking support from friends and family. It's also important to change how we view challenges. Instead of seeing them as insurmountable barriers, we can reframe them as opportunities for growth. You see, every challenge we face is a chance to learn, adapt, and become stronger. Embrace a growth mindset, which is the belief that abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. Think of a tree. It stands strong through storms, grows deeper roots, and reaches higher towards the sky. Like the tree, we too can grow stronger through adversity. Each challenge is an opportunity to deepen our roots and strengthen our potential. Building resilience and viewing challenges as opportunities are key to personal growth. They help us focus on our goals and progress even when the road gets tough. Remember, resilience isn't about never failing. It's about getting back up and trying again, stronger and wiser. So embrace resilience in your journey. Practice mindfulness, cultivate a positive mindset, develop healthy coping strategies, and see each challenge as a chance to grow. Okay, now moving on to our fifth strategy for unlocking your potential, and that is surrounding yourself with positivity. The environment and social circles you'll immerse yourself in significantly affect your personal growth. I mean, the people you interact with and the atmosphere you create can either propel you forward or hold you back. And positive environments and supportive social circles can inspire, motivate, and help you focus on your goals. On the other hand, negative influences can drain your energy and derail your progress. And here are some tips to create a supportive and positive environment. One, choose your company wisely. Surround yourself with people who uplift, inspire, and encourage you. Seek out friends and colleagues who share your values and goals. Create a positive space. Make your living and working spaces inviting and energizing. Use colors, plants, and decor to make you happy and make you motivated. And then set boundaries. 
Learn to say no to negativity. Limit interactions with people who bring you down or distract you from your goals. And four, engage in positive activities. Participate in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. This could be hobbies, sports, or social events that recharge your spirit. Another crucial aspect of surrounding yourself with positivity is finding mentors and building a strong network. You see, mentorship can provide guidance, support, and valuable insights that help you grow. Here are some ways to find and benefit from mentorship. Number one, seek out mentors. That's pretty obvious. Look for individuals who, who with experience and qualities you admire. Don't be afraid to reach out and ask for their guidance. Two, be open to learning. Approach mentorship with an open mind and willingness to learn. Be receptive to feedback and advice. And three, build a network. Connect with like-minded in the individuals through professional organizations, social events, and online communities. Networking can open doors to new opportunities and collaborations. You see, a positive environment and supportive social circle are vital for personal growth. They provide the encouragement, motivation, and resources you need to thrive. So by surrounding yourself with positivity, you'll create a nurturing space that fosters your development and helps you achieve your goals. So take the time to evaluate your environment and social circles. Make conscious choices to surround yourself with positivity and seek out mentorships and networking opportunities. All right, so as we wrap up, let's quickly recap the strategies we've discussed to help you unlock your potential. First is self-assessment and awareness. Understand who you are by reflecting on your strengths, weaknesses, and areas for improvement. Then there's setting clear goals. Use SMART goals to give yourself direction and motivation. Continuous learning and skill development. Embrace lifelong learning to keep growing and adapting. Building resilience and overcoming obstacles. Develop resilience to bounce back from setbacks and view challenges as opportunities for growth. Surround yourself with positivity. Create a supportive environment and seek mentorship and positive influences. Now, I encourage you to take the first step towards unlocking your potential today. Start with one of these strategies and commit to making it a part of your daily routine. And remember, personal growth is a journey, not a destination. Every small step you take brings you closer to becoming the best version of yourself. And I'd love to hear from you. Share your goals or experiences in the comments below. Let us know which strategies you're excited to try first. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future content on personal growth. And follow us for more tips, strategies, and inspiration to help you on your journey. I want to thank you for watching. And remember, your potential is limitless. Keep striving, keep growing, and unlock the incredible power within you.